In the last few years, Walter Case Jr. certainly has made his mark among the top harness drivers. After finishing fourth in the standings while driving in his native Maine in 1981, he climbed the second the following year. In 1982, he moved to Monticello Raceway and set a track record for victories, but again finished second in the driver's standings. Now a regular at the Meadowlands, Case hasn't forgotten the lessons he learned along the way. You know, I started off driving a lot of cheap horse, $800 claimers, $1,000 claimers, but uh, I had an old guy tell me, he said, you got to start with the cheap ones first and work your way up to the good ones, you know? And it helped me out a lot to go from Maine to Monticello. And I matured a lot there. Besides a burning desire to win, Case also has been successful because of an innate talent for communicating confidence to the horses he drives. Yeah, I just feel that I can c communicate it through my arms, through the reins, to that horse's mouth and make him feel that he's a winner. Just, com I can just make them have confidence through the lines. That's, that's a big key. I just, I just think it's something that uh, you've got to be born with, you know. To, it's, it's a natural thing, you know. Either, you, you know, you've got that ability or you don't, you know. It's, you just can't force that in you, you know. Case got started in the harness racing business when his dad let him jog a horse when he was 12 years old. He won his first race five years later and hasn't slowed down since. He was the youngest driver ever to win 1,000 races when he passed that milestone at age 22. The next year, he became the youngest to surpass 1,500 career victories. This is John Henderson reporting.